Can I ask you okay. a question? Yes, please. Okay. So I'm a business owner. Okay. I have heard a lot about the cloud. Cloud, yes. Uh, everybody's talking about the cloud, right? Yes. Cloud, cloud, cloud. Yes. What is the difference between Dropbox and OneDrive, probably the, arguably the two biggest cloud storage services. Okay. What's the difference and is there a better preference one way or the other? Okay. So yeah, I mean the the cloud, right? Cloud services, cloud, cloud data services yep. um, is is very 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 popular, especially now with remote working. You know, you need access to your files all the time. Um, so yes, the two big players are Dropbox and OneDrive, and um, you know there are different thoughts on which is better for my business. I would think that if you are a truly Microsoft you know, business where you utilize email with Microsoft, Word, Excel, you utilize right. those programs all the time. OneDrive fits into that scenario. Great. It's more seamlessly integrated. Seamlessly integrated, very much a product that goes with you anywhere, just like Dropbox. But it's the integration that is great for OneDrive and all your other Microsoft products. Dropbox does integrate within Word and, you know, some of those products, but you know, Microsoft playing with Microsoft is better than Dropbox, who's non-Microsoft right. playing with Microsoft. So that's probably one of the big differences. Okay. Then there's the cost. There's a difference in cost. OneDrive for business within your Microsoft account, say you have Office 365 with Microsoft for your email, you also get OneDrive, one terabyte of storage space with OneDrive. So that's standard? That's standard across the board, whether you're paying $8 for just email or you're paying $25 for the top of the line of the platform. The whole suite. The whole suite yep, of yep, Office yep. 365. Right. Dropbox has got a different approach. They have kind of two flavors. They have one that's $12.50 a month, and you get five terabytes worth of, worth of drive space to have your files in the cloud. If you're a business and you have a lot of colleagues and everybody that are utilizing Dropbox, you can sign up for a business account and you can pay $20 per user. So there is a personal versus there is a, business There's a personal and a business. There. Yes. Okay. So on the business side, you can pay, pay $20 for each of your employees and you get unlimited storage space for your business. So they both work the same. They're both secure. Everything's encrypted because it synchronizes what's on your computer right. to the cloud so that wherever you take your computer or wherever you have access to the internet, you can have access to your files. Right. So, you know, they really are very, very, very similar. Um, people love Dropbox just because they grew up you know, with Dropbox before OneDrive it's kind a name of brand yeah, name brand. Yeah, name brand kind yeah, yeah. of thing. So really, I mean, I utilize OneDrive just because we're so integrated within Microsoft products. It just works better for me. Right. So that's kind of really the main difference. I don't know that I would say that one is better than the other one. It's really a preference, but there are differences that you should understand. Okay, that's great. I mean, that's, I think that's the, part of the problem from a business owner perspective is all of this stuff is so overwhelming. Yeah. You don't want to make the, 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 the biggest mistake that you think you can make as a business owner is making the wrong decision. And as soon as you step on board with one of the platforms, you think maybe you're, you know, you integrate and you're two years down the road and you made the biggest mistake of your business career because you picked Dropbox or something. Right. That's not the case. Not the case. No. So. Cool. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Right.